Our friends should know that Italian cuisine is all about simplicity and great ingredients. This is why Italians are so good with food and fashion. I was going to talk about how simple ingredients and expertise are the secrets of worldwide known products. And you're talking about fashion again. It's the same concept. Look at how beautiful these beads are on this hoodie shirt. It's simple, but you need good stuff and good skills to make it awesome and not ridiculous. Good materials, expertise, and patience all make the perfect dress and the perfect dish. Exactly. What's the famous Italian product made just from pork, salt, air, and thyme? Prosciutto! Ciao, people! In Italian, prosciutto means ham, and there is a long list of different types. Cooked, uncooked, cured, boiled, smoked, and more. In the U.S., and much of the rest of the world, prosciutto is the all-purpose name given to the uncooked and dry-cured ham, known in Italy as prosciutto crudo, literally, raw ham. The term prosciutto comes from the Latin word perexuctum. Here are ancient Romans again, my friends. It means prosciugato in Italian, or thoroughly dried, referring to one of the oldest methods of preserving meat with salt. This process was brought to northern Italy by Celts in the 5th century BC, long before the Roman Empire. All this Latin and history is very interesting, but our friends may have no idea what prosciutto is. I will explain this in simple words. All starts with a pig. For each pig, you can get four prosciutti. One for each haunch. Oh my gosh, stop it. Here I read, the entire pork haunch is covered with a layer of salt and placed in cold storage to rest and dry. Salt draws the moisture from the meat and leaves a good taste. The haunch gets then rinsed and hung up in the cool and dark storage to age from at least one year up to as many as three. It takes approximately 780 days for a 12-month age prosciutto. This is why prosciutto is not cheap in Italy, and I'd say very expensive in the U.S. In Italy, there are strict laws regulating prosciutto production. One of the most important requirements is that the hogs are born in specific areas of Italy and not imported. It can be surprising, but air is one of the most important ingredients. Pork, salt, air, and thyme, there are absolutely no additives or preservatives used to make an authentic prosciutto crudo. There are two main kinds of prosciutto crudo in Italy from two different areas and with different fire branded symbols to identify their authentic, San Daniele and Parma. Lucrezia, the lesson about prosciutto is now over. Time to have some fun. Let's list and show our friends the main kinds of hands we have in Italy. Great idea. This is how an Italian grocery store looks like. We already talked about prosciutto crudo, raw ham, and this is how it looks like. There is a cooked version of prosciutto called prosciutto cotto. It's used in sandwiches, but also to cook and it's delicious. Speck is the smoked version of prosciutto, super tasty and perfect if paired with creamy cheese like brie, coppa, or capocollo. A raw prosciutto with more fat and a strong flavor. Perfect in panini or as an appetizer. Brezala, a raw prosciutto made with beef and very lean meat. It has a tasty flavor and it's a perfect appetizer if prepared with a marinade made of olive oil and lemon juice or with parmigiano flakes. Pancetta, a sweet bacon mainly used to cook but delicious also as an appetizer. The Italian way is to serve affettati, different kinds of hams, on the same plate as an appetizer or even as a full meal if paired with bread and cheese. Not only pasta then! Come to Crazy Italians and enjoy our affettati. You'll feel like, like you're in heaven. heaven. Oh. Coppa or capocallo. Capocallo! Panacchetta. Panacchetta. Pancetta. Panacchetta. 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 Panacchetta.